Hello, my name is Chris Mufflard. I'm a project engineer at Vico Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner video training series level five, optimizing location order. In this vignette, we're gonna show you how to change location order and how that can enhance an optimization process. And we'll give you an example of how we do this. We optimize location sequence to enhance the workflow. By resequencing locations, we can make a plan which helps to optimize the overall schedule. Let's start by isolating the pier caps and piles. In this portion of the schedule, we can note that the location breakdown structure suggests that this crew is going to be moving from set 4 to set 2 to set 3 to set 1. Although this might reflect a potential solution to the overall sequencing for this crew, we know that this is not necessarily an adequate use of the location breakdown structure. Let's start by first resequencing one task. Start by double clicking on the layout piles. We have a few options here. First of all, we can start by selecting one task in the location sequence pane and using the up or down arrow to shift this location within the sequence. We can also use the down key to shift downwards, the reverse key, or we can use the edit function. In the edit function, very similar we can select a task and move it up or down to alter the sequence. As you can see, when we first load our new sequence for the layout piles task, it looks disjointed. Yet we know that because of the internal layer three logic relationships, it remains continuous. The reason this is, is because our view is established in such a way that does not portray this task as continuous as it does with its predecessor tasks. We can also note that as we resequence this task, it's actually pushed out the strip finish and pile caps task beyond the project end date. Another way that we can alter the location sequence is by right clicking at the highest level of the project hierarchy and selecting the change display orders. We can now select the locations to show them in such a way that we could resequence the work. Click OK. Now note that our layout piles task has formed one continuous line across each of the project locations, and our remaining successor tasks do not. We can start by first right clicking and changing the display order again, selecting the copy display order and selecting all the tasks in this phase of work and pressing OK. Note that for all the tasks we have straight continuous lines that track through each of the different project locations. We have also changed the overall impact of unsequencing one task which would form bottlenecks to the start or completion of the subsequent activities. In this vignette, we have learned that we can resequence locations to increase the efficiency of the tasks and the overall schedule, as well as that we need to focus on tasks which exist in separate locations but are bonded by direct logic relationships.